The Nigerian media has been tasked to use investigative journalism as a tool to transforming the society. This was the action aid of Nigeria and the Nigerian Journalists Against Poverty engaged newsmen on modern investigative journalism techniques necessary to uncover corruption and fraud in Nigeria's procurement process. Our correspondent, Amadine Uyi, was there and filed in this report. Corruption has been described as the bane of Nigeria's society. With millions of Nigerians living on less than a dollar a day, poor and unavailable infrastructure, inadequate power needs for the country, and a myriad of other challenges, many believe corruption is indeed a clog in the wheel of progress of the country. It has done worse things than malaria, it has done worse things than HIV, it has done worse things than um, um, armed robbery, it has done worse things than um, uh, genocide, if you like, uh, because many lives uh, are lost, not necessarily because in the hospital, because we don't have drugs or we don't have good uh, medical personnel, but because most times the monies that are budgeted for um, health care, they are stolen and they are in the pocket of the few. We have come to understand that one of the biggest challenge or the biggest issue that brought up poverty is corruption. Corruption from the low to the upper class. A lot of things making sure, making people not to experience what they're supposed to have in life because of what leadership or people who are supposed to be uh, assisting people to come up from their low level to the high level are not doing. It doesn't allow development, which is very, very critical. When corruption tries in any society, there will be no development. Because what is expected to be used for development is used for personal gains, and that's very wrong. To this end, the Action Aid of Nigeria and the Journalists Against Poverty trained newsmen on modern investigative techniques to uncover corruption in the public sector. The Action Aid says the initiative, which is part of a scrap corruption campaign, popularly known as the Scrap C, will help equip newsmen with relevant skills so they can mobilize citizens to the media to rise up against corruption. Many times we discover that some of our journalists don't really take time to understand the nitty gritty of reporting. And so this training has in it, imbibing it already, the training on budget tracking, we have training on uh, on data reporting, we, have, we are going to have training on, on on procurement, so which is to tell us that you needed to understand how the process of procurement, you know, will lead to people doing what they are supposed to do. All over the world, uh, the best place you can get stories that can change uh, people's attitude is the media space. So if the media space is actually locked down and we are no longer getting information as it were, of course, participation will not be effective. Uh, there are also studies. Uh, one of them is the study on um, the four principles of uh, anti-corruption efforts. And um, they look at transparency, participation, accountability, and integrity. And the four principles are also connected in the sense that a government that is transparent uh, will actually drive a participatory society. And a society that is uh, participatory will drive an accountable government. This is about strengthening citizens' resistance. To cor against corruption, so we must ha we have a role to play. We must speak up. When things that are located to our areas are not done, we must speak up and ask that it should be done. We must not allow people to say what has not been done for us and claim credit for it. We must hold government accountable in our own little way by speaking up. The group tax Nigerians to join the anti-corruption war. Port corruption, it is it is dangerous. It is uh, is killing more than HIV and uh, and uh, AIDS. It's killing more than malaria. Report it wherever you see it, and also encourage government to uh, enforce um, uh, laws that says that anybody found to be corrupt must be prosecuted. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.